All right, we're in the studio now with uh, Rich Gardner, and uh, yeah, you hear him on the, uh, the 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 sponsorship here, and uh, uh, he he's not just a sponsor of the Tecumthathon with his business and his real estate and his uh, development business. So you've become the big uh, the the big uh, tycoon of Colchester, yeah, haven't you? I don't know about that, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got involved, I think through rocky as well I, right i did yeah yeah uh, so we're like related now <laughs> is that how that works <laughs> <laughs> i missed my invite to thanksgiving right <laughs> but uh that's how you got involved is rocky invited you yes. to come jump in the lake that's right and it was actually to hand out pizza at uh the summer week okay so i was doing an addition for rocky's right. house at the time and this was a long time ago yeah. uh, i went and handed out pizza for a few years at camp uh, before i signed up for uh my first full week See, before you were a big time real estate tycoon in Colchester, we thought you just worked for Rocky's New York Pizza. <laughs> That's, right? That still follows me to this day. Some people are like, "Oh, you're you're the guy who worked for Rocky's." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, that'll work, right? Yeah. Um, yesterday, you jumped in the lake again. It was cold yesterday. It yeah. really was. It yeah. wasn't just the water temperature; it was the wind blowing down the hill. No, the the wind, the wind, uh, the wind chills. No joke. Especially yesterday, it was really cold. Yesterday, it was really cold. One of the coldest years that I've been in. To give you an idea, uh, when Rich was uh, wiping off with a towel, it was literally turning to ice crystals. I was making snow drying off. He was off. making snow <laughs> drying off on the beach. It was, I've never seen anything like it before. But uh, uh, a bunch of people jumped in, raised some money, sent another two kids to camp with yeah, that we jump. Had a, we had a great year. With, we had a great year this year. Even though it was really cold, uh, the fundraising was good, and we had a good group that came down. And everybody survived? Everybody survived, yes. We didn't have to call Colchester <laughs> Technical Rescue, which is always yeah, a good thing. That's a, that's a plus. That's a plus. Uh, take me back to your first year as a cabin counselor at camp, because you've been doing it a number of years, and uh, with the, the sm- littlest boys' cabin, right? Yeah. I um, My first year, I was in athletics, um, and then I, I moved up to the youngest boys' cabin, um, it was actually our, our first, my first year as a cabin counselor was our first year at our new, um, campus or our new campgrounds. Right. Um, there's, uh, there's, there's nothing like, uh, being able to be next to some of these kids as they're being introduced to camp. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we used to traditionally, we'd go pick them up at the hospital and we'd go through the line and we'd get, you know, uh, told what they have and what they need and, how we're going to need to care for them throughout the week. And then we get them on the bus and we take them to this magical place where a lot of those worries and thoughts and, you know, the parents telling us what they, what they're going to have to have. It almost becomes one of those things that we have to check in on to make sure that they're getting the medications and all of those. Cause they, the kids kind of forget, which is, you know, I think one of the real important pieces. Of- Check your cancer at the door. 863-1051 or 1-800-501-9565. We're talking to Rich Gardner right now, and uh, he has been working uh, with the youngest boys as a cabin counselor at Camp Tecumta. Uh, if When people ask you about Camp Tecumta, and I'm sure this happens, you're in a business meeting or you're at a community event or something like that, and they say, really? Why do you do this? What's the moment that that made you a camp to come to believer? What's that moment that sticks in your mind as that's when I knew this is something I had to do? Oh, I, that's a that's a good question. There's so many there's so many things that happen at every every year that we're there that remind me um, why it's such an important place, um, and it, it really solidifies it for me. Um, the The first one was it was probably my second year as a cabin counselor. Um, we'd had a kid that came that was still receiving treatments. Uh, we had to feed him at night through a feeding tube. Um, so there were nurses that were always around. Um, and I remember struggling, him struggling to get from one place to the next as far as activities. So we were always either pushing him in a wheelchair or we'd have um, somebody come down and pick him up in a golf cart. Um, and at camp we do, um, we have a formal, which is a place where, the kids get dressed up. We have a costume box so they can get, you know, their suits or their dresses. Um, and and I remember him really wanting a date. And one of the, I can't remember if she was an oldest girl or, or a middle girl, but she asked him to go with her. Um, and from the time that she asked to the time we got to the actual formal, um, I just saw all this energy come out of him. Mm. Um, and he was able to get out of the wheelchair that week 
or at least that night, and dance with his date. So mm. for me to see this kid who had been struggling all week um, stand up and dance with his date at the formal, I mean, it, it, I still like I have pictures. He was he was all white. He used to like to drink um, orange soda, so he had orange <laughs> soda over his lips. I know who you're like it's about. it's just like that for me. Um, even that one moment to repeat that one moment would be totally worth it. Totally worth it. Wow. 